Hey everyone, this is Tom from Vermi Bag. And this is the Mammoth One that I put the 32 or 34 pounds of material in last week. Uh, it's only been six days. I'm actually going to do this a day early because I, I need to harvest this system. And I want to do that tomorrow. And then once I harvest it, I'll go ahead and uh, feed it again. So I'm going to do the first portion of this video right now and just see what the system looks like right now before I harvest it. So this is the left hand side of the bag. Uh, this is the material that I put in it last week and this is what it looks like today. So now you can see the water bottle that I have in there. So I did put the water bottle in here twice again this week. You know, it starts warming up just a little bit and this just helps to keep it cooled down. You see the worms tend to hang out in that right around that water bottle for it's nice and cool. Let's take a dig in here and see what the worm density is like and see how they went through this material in uh, six days. I don't see much material. Uh, the worms definitely look good. All I'm really seeing is lots of worms. Uh, a tiny little bit of skin of something there. Uh, really there's no material so far that I can see. A couple skins. That's, that's really all I'm seeing right now. Uh, there's something there. I'm not sure what that is. It's the skin of something. I'm not really sure what it is. It's just about broken down. The worms are all over it. A little piece again of something. There's a couple tiny little pieces of items here and there. Um, again, the, the worm density is pretty uniform throughout. I mean, there's a lot of worms in here. Worms are definitely getting fat. I mean, there's some big African night crawlers in here now. They probably don't like me digging around here, pulling them around, but uh, you can definitely see that uh, the African night crawlers are definitely the majority in this bin. Go here in the center where a lot of that food was. There's a tiny little bit of food right well that's just that's like uh, avocado or artichoke skins or something so it's things that break down pretty slowly I'm gonna say the majority of the food you know 95 percent of it's gone uh, worm density is excellent I mean, they, they, they're really spread out everywhere they look great the the moisture in the bin is just perfect here on the top I do again have a little bit of leachate dripping out the bottom so it must be going through the system fairly quickly because it's not too wet up here but uh, I definitely have a little bit dripping out nothing again nothing major but a small amount so I have a uh, mortar tray underneath there and I just add a little bit of water into it so it kind of dilutes into a, a solution and stuff so it doesn't smell at all and I don't worry about it staining my uh, bin and stuff down there. So we'll go ahead and pull the camera over on the other side, take a look, uh, see what it looks like on density and how they went through the food. And I'll probably go ahead and uh, post this video because I'm not going to feed this bag until probably day after tomorrow, after I do the harvest, and I'll, I'll throw the food back in. So I'm going to plan on basically putting right around that 35 pound mark again in the bag. I'll uh, probably start a video on right when I'm starting to feed it or maybe add it to the next video but uh, and then I'll do a separate video on the harvesting so let's take a look at the other side and see what it looks like okay this is the right hand side of the bag uh, again I have a water bottle in here that's thawed out now that I had in here frozen it's the amount of food I fed it last week this is what it looks like today uh, so six days later so let's take a look down inside here and See how those worms did on all this food that's in here. You know, 
it's pretty standard. I, I see a lot of cocoons. I don't know if you can see that cocoon right there. But as I go through this, I, I definitely see a lot of cocoons in here too. I mean, they're doing really great. I mean, again, I, I can't be happier. Food's pretty much gone on this side, too. I mean, 90% of it. There's some tiny little skins here and there. But for the most part, everything's gone. So, in six days, uh, these guys have worked through uh, 34 pounds of material. Uh, there's very, very little left. There's some stocks of items. The real hardcore stuff, which is expected that, you know, it takes a while to break down. Uh, some avocado skins, miscellaneous things. But uh, all I'm really finding is, uh, you know, leftover pieces of the outer skin, which, you know, is normal. That's the last thing that's going to go, though so that takes a while to decompose. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest this bag either today or tomorrow. I'll do a video on that. Uh, I expect to get an awful lot of material out of this. Uh, I mean, at least 15 gallons. Uh, I'm not to see. There's a lot of material in right now. This bag is really getting full. And then uh, once I'm done harvesting it, maybe at the end of that video, I'll, I'll show you the food I'm going to put in. Uh, I need to go down tomorrow morning and pick up another 100 pounds of uh, scraps and stuff and get it ready, put it in the freezer, because I'm really going through the food scraps right now. So that's it for now. This is Tom from Vermibag. Till next time, ciao.